हेलो एवरीवन सो मेनी ऑफ यू वर रिक्वेस्टिंग मी अ वीडियो ऑन हकल मोलिकुलर ऑर्बिटल सो नाउ सी दिस दिस विल रिक्वायर सिक्स टू सेवन वीडियोस एंड आई डोंट आई डोंट हैव टाइम टू मेक सो मेनी वीडियोस बिकॉज गेट एग्जामिनेशन इज़ वेरी नियर एंड आई कॉन्ट गिव सो मच टाइम टू अ सिंगल टॉपिक सो वी विल इन दिस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू डायरेक्टली फाइंड आउट द रूट्स ऑफ द सेकुलर इक्वेशन नाउ सी दोज हु आर न्यू टू दिस टॉपिक वाट वी डू लेट से वी हैव बीन गिवन दिस इथीन मोलिक्यूल इन द फर्स्ट स्टेप वी राइट द सेकुलर डिटर्मिनेंट एंड इन द सेकेंड इन द सेकेंड स्टेप वी सॉल्व द पोलोनोमियल इक्वेशन एंड इन द थर्ड स्टेप बाय बाय द रूट्स ऑफ दोज पोलोनोमियल इक्वेशन वी ड्राइव द वी ड्राइव द ट्रांसलेशनल एनर्जी डी लोकलाइजेशन एनर्जी एंड सो ऑन सो इन बट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू हाउ टू सॉल्व directly a question without knowing any of the above things so see now i am writing how to calculate this how to calculate the roots of circular equation for that i am writing this e you can think at think it as energy and this is a k any constant so this is alpha plus 2 beta cos this will be k this this k k pi upon n plus 1 so this is a equation equation for the linear molecules this is for linear molecules so this we have been given ethene and ethene is ch2 double bond ch2 and it is a linear molecule so this formula will be applicable for this ethene molecule now you must be wondering that what is this alpha and beta if you don't know then it's okay because there is it doesn't matter what what they have physical significance and if you want to know this alpha is known as coulomb integral you can write in your notebook and this beta is known as resonance integral so let's so now see the how to solve the question what you have to do is this k value generally it is a natural number 1 2 3 and so on and what is this n this n is nothing but the number of carbon atom let's solve the question so if let's say if k equals to 1 then we have e1 it will be equals to how much just write this is alpha plus 2 beta this is cos and this k will be 1 so write here 1 1 into pi is pi i am writing directly this n is the number of carbon atoms and how many carbon atoms we have 1 and 2 so this 2 plus 1 is i am writing directly 2 plus 1 so let me write step wise 2 plus 1 so this will be alpha plus 2 beta cos pi by 3 and it is and first of all i want to say those who are from biology biology background they generally suffer in the thermodynamics and quantum chemistry because their maths is a little bit weak and i can understand so don't feel shy and don't hesitate just let me know in the comment box i will make a separate video for the trigonometric identities and some little bit differentiation and integration so that you will be comfortable in solving the thermodynamics and quantum chemistry problems so don't feel shy just let me know in the comment box so this is alpha plus 2 beta cos pi by 3 and you know the value of pi by 3 this pi by 3 is cos 60 and cos 60 is half alpha plus 2 beta this is cos pi by 3 is 60 and cos 60 is half this is alpha plus this 2 cancels by what i am doing and this 2 cancels by this 2 and we have alpha plus beta are you getting so we have one root this is now come to the second e2 if k equals to 2 now e2 would be this is alpha right alpha plus 2 beta this is cos and k k is 2 so for 2 just this is k 
so this will be 2 into pi 2 pi upon n plus 1 n is number of carbon 1 and 2 so this will be 2 plus 1 is 3 so here write alpha plus 2 beta and this is cos and this is 360 by 3 is 120 all right c3 axis cos this is cos 120 so this will be cos 120 degree so this is alpha plus 2 beta and cos 120 is minus half so this cancels by this so we have alpha minus beta so we have two roots alpha minus beta and alpha plus beta come to the option alpha plus root 2 beta alpha minus root 2 beta this is wrong alpha plus beta this can be but here is here we have alpha only alpha so this is wrong alpha plus beta and alpha minus beta so c is the right answer so even if we know don't know anything then also we can calculate the calculate this values now come to the one more i am taking one more example let me turn the page let me adjust so i am writing for the let's say we have a allylic radical this is cs2 this is cs2 radical ch double bond ch2 this is allylic allylic radical see how to solve this now i told you a formula formula was energy equals to alpha plus 2 beta cos k pi upon n plus 1 now how to solve without writing the secular determinant so this is the equation so just revise write two or three times and you will become comfortable with this equation so this is our equation so let's take if k equals to 1 now obviously if we have 3 carbon then we will have at least 3 energies so this is k equals to 1 so e1 would be this is alpha plus 2 beta this is cos and 1 into pi is pi and n is n is how much for this we have n equals to this is 1 2 3 number of carbon atoms we have 3 so this is 3 plus 1 so we have alpha plus 2 beta cos pi by 4 180 by 4 so we have alpha plus 2 beta this is cos pi by 4 is how much 45 and 45 and what is the value of cos 45 this is 1 by root 2 are you getting so this will be alpha plus and when you will solve it this will be alpha plus root 2 beta are you getting how this is 2 beta by this is value is 2 beta by root 2 just multiply by root 2 and divide by root 2 so this will become this is 2 root 2 into root 2 this cancels by this 2 and we have root 2 beta now come to the k equals to 2 if k equals to 2 then e2 would be how much this is alpha plus 2 beta cos k is how much 2 so write 2 pi upon n is number of carbon and we have n equals to 3 so just write 3 plus 1 and this is alpha plus 2 beta cos 2 pi by 4 and 2 1 the 2 2 2 the 4 we have pi by 2 180 by 2 90 degree so we have alpha plus 2 beta cos 90 and cos 90 is nothing but alpha plus 2 beta cos 90 is how much 0 so we have alpha only are you getting my point so let's see if k equals to 3 if k equals to 3 then e3 will be alpha plus 2 beta cos k is 3 so 3 into pi 3 pi upon n plus 1 number of carbon plus 1 so this is i am writing directly 3 pi by 4 this is alpha plus 2 beta cos and this 3 pi by 4 is how much this is 135 3 into 
वन एटी बाय फोर दिस इज फोर्टी फाइव एंड फोर्टी फाइव थ्री जो वन थर्टी फाइव सो वी हैव कॉस वन थर्टी फाइव एंड दिस विल बी अल्फा प्लस टू बीटा वाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस वन थर्टी फाइव माइनस वन बाय रूट टू आर यू गेटिंग यू कैन राइट इट एज यू कैन राइट इज एज कॉस नाइन्टी प्लस फोर्टी फाइव एंड इट विल बी माइनस साइन फोर्टी फाइव एंड यू हैव माइनस वन बाय रूट टू सो अगेन सॉल्व इट अल्फा माइनस दिस विल बिकम रूट टू बीटा लाइक आई सॉल्व देयर सो वी हैव थ्री वैल्यूज वन टू एंड थ्री सो दीज आर द रूट्स एंड वी कैन डायरेक्टली कैलकुलेट बाय दिस जनरल फॉर्मूला सो दिस वॉज वेरी इजी एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द एनर्जी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो द ऑर्डर ऑफ द एनर्जी देन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस बीटा एंड अल्फा वैल्यूज बोथ आर नेगेटिव सो दिस बीटा इज नेगेटिव सो दिस अल्फा माइनस बीटा विल बी नाउ सी दिस बीटा इज नेगेटिव सो माइनस माइनस विल बी प्लस सो दिस वैल्यू विल बी हाइएस्ट फॉलोड बाय दिस वैल्यू अल्फा एंड इफ बीटा इज नेगेटिव सो अल्फा माइनस बीटा विल बी a minimum value so the order is this is energy order is alpha minus root 2 beta so we can arrange like say 1 2 and 3 so this lowest level would be alpha plus root 2 beta and this will be alpha and this will be alpha minus this one root 2 beta so this is the order of energy so by this formula we can directly calculate the this roots of circular equation so this was all about this lecture and if you like if you like the video then please subscribe to the channel and like and share thank you